How to Draw a Nest with Robin Eggs. Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this robin's egg nest with markers step by step. This is an easy drawing lesson for kids, beginners, and kids of all ages. Hi everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Nature and the Universe, we draw everything that's in nature and everything that's up in the skies. So let's begin. This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have my dollar store drawing pad here. It's 11 and a half by eight inches. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and I always have my old paintbrush hanging out to dust my page off. And for color today, we're using markers. I've got yellow, brown, and a nice blue color for the eggs. I also have a black Sharpie here, but it's a fine tip. It's not a thick tipped marker, okay? So that's what I've got. I'm going to clear my page and we can start drawing our nest with Robin's eggs. And it is the perfect time of the year for that because they're all nesting. So I've got my pencil and I'm going to draw an outline. I'm going to do things a little differently than I usually do. Usually I draw with pencil, then I outline, and then I erase the pencil marks, and then I add the marker. So we're going to do things a little differently today. I'm just going to draw a rough shape of a nest. Just a very rough shape. I hope you can see that with my bright lights and a little round area in the middle. That is the rough shape of my nest. And what I want to do is add my eggs right away. And I'm going to do three eggs and we're going to erase a little bit here. So this is one egg like this. And I've got one kind of lying on the side like that. And maybe one up here just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is erase everything inside of the eggs. You see these lines here? I want to erase those, okay? And it's okay if you erase some of your other marks because we're going to end up erasing all of the pencil marks. I just wanted to have a little bit of a guide to what to what it looks like and where we shouldn't put certain colors, okay? So I'm going to start off with my, let's see, with my yellow. And all I'm going to do is create some lines in the shape of that nest. And then on this side, the same thing. And I'm not going to get any yellow into my eggs. And that's all I'm doing for now. And I'm going to take my brown color and just do the same thing on the inside here. Just a little bit, not into the egg. And maybe at the bottom here. Now I have the shape of my nest and I can erase all of these pencil marks. Not the eggs yet though. I'm not going to erase the egg pencil marks just yet, but I want to erase my pencil marks that I used to shape my nest. Now what happened here is that I can't erase the pencil mark because the Sharpie went over it. That happens with Sharpies. I don't know why. With any other marker you can erase pencil marks that you make, but if the Sharpie goes over it, they don't erase very well. So do you see what I did here? I've kept the shapes of the eggs drawn in pencil and I've erased all of the marks, the pencil marks for the nest. So what I'm going to do is take my black fine tipped Sharpie and I'm going to outline my eggs. I'll start with this one. And it doesn't matter if I don't quite follow the lines because I'm going to be erasing them. there. And I'm going to erase. Now remember, 
make sure your marker is dry before you start erasing or else you're going to smudge everything everywhere. Sharpies draw, dry very, very quickly, so I'm not even worried about erasing right now. And this is optional. You don't have to erase your pencil marks. If you feel like you've covered them and they're not showing, then that's fine. So I think we can put our pencil and our eraser away and we can start by coloring in the eggs with our blue color, okay? Now I have this, that's the wrong end. I have this really neat marker. If I can get the cap off, there we go. And I got it on me already. Actually, look, it matches, matches my nail polish. I have purple and blue today. <laughs> it's, it's like um, a paintbrush at the tip. I really love this marker. So what we're going to do is we're just going to color in the egg. All three eggs. We're going to color those in blue. And I am trying not to get any blue into the nest and outside of my lines. Okay, so I'm going to take my time doing this. And this is how I do it. I always outline kind of the area first. And then I go in and put the color in everywhere else. The robins are definitely out now. Here where I live in Canada, it's spring. And anytime I see the robins, I know winter is over and it's a happy time. <laughs> I love when winter is over. I don't like the cold weather. So I've kind of outlined it. Now I'm going to very slowly color in the eggs. With these markers that have the paintbrush tip, you can't go fast because it, it doesn't give you the same uh, color. It, it gets too light. So I go slowly. I live in an area where I have, I have a lot of wooded area on my property and I, I often see nests in the trees and I have seen robins eggs in those nests and I will show you a picture of that right now. I saw a beautiful nest with these eggs and look at how blue those eggs are. And I was watching them last spring. And I was watching the little babies grow up and fly away. It was really, really cool. So there we go. Two of mine are done. How are you guys doing? Are you using markers? Or did you so decide to use coloring pencils or crayons? I like using markers a lot because the colors are so vibrant. But once in a while I feel like using coloring pencils. My dog is drinking his water in the background. There we go. This is very relaxing. Is it spring? in your area? I guess it depends where you live. Some people don't have spring. They have summer all year round. Or if you live in the southern hemisphere, which is Australia mostly, you're just about to start fall. There we go. So my eggs are done. My eggs are done. My eggs are colored in. <laughs> it sounds like I was placing a, an order for food. My eggs are done. <laughs> now I've got my brown. And the way we make a nest is we just do this. And there's nothing... It's... I wouldn't say it's messy. But 
when a bird is making a nest, they're not worrying about perfection. They just want to build a home. And what we're doing here is it's like twigs, you know, twigs that they make their nest from. We just want to make sure that it looks kind of circular. Okay, that's just the beginning. And on the inside here, we're actually going to put only brown. Because the inside of the nest is a little darker because the eggs are causing a shadow on the inside there, right? I'm just trying to be really careful. I don't want to get any brown into my egg here. There we go. And there's a little spot here that I will also do. There. I want to leave a little bit of the page showing through. I'm not going to like color it in solid, but I just wanted to make sure that it looks different from this. We might go back and fix that after. But now what I'm going to do is take my yellow again and do the same thing, just putting in twigs, but not here or here. And I'm being very careful not to get yellow into the eggs because when you mix yellow and blue, do you know what color you get? You get green. And these eggs are not green, they're blue. See how easy it is? So that's all the yellow I'm going to use. Now I'm going to grab that fine tipped black. I didn't want to use, um, you know, like these tips are, I'll show you the difference. You see the difference there? I didn't want to use a thick tip like this one. I wanted to use a fine tip just for some detail. And I'm going in and I'm doing the same thing everywhere that I have the yellow. It just sort of fills it in and it gives it a little more detail. Just being careful not to get any black into the egg or the eggs. And you can put as much color in here as you want. If you think it needs more yellow, add more yellow. Same thing for the brown. You could probably also put a little orange in there. That would look nice. All right, I'm gonna add more brown. I think it needs more brown. But I'm not gonna cover it up completely. Just a little more brown. And I want a few twigs sticking out like that. This is very relaxing. <laughs> very, very relaxing. Careful where the eggs are. And when I get to the middle, I switch the other way. Because when you do that, this is called contour drawing or contour shading. In this case, we're drawing, we're not shading, but that means we're following the contour of the nest or the shape of the nest. If the nest is round, we want to put our twigs in a circular shape, following the contour. Did I explain that okay? Do you guys get that? See, it's 
getting a little darker and I think it looks a little better. black in there. Just a little bit. Stick some of those black twigs out too. anywhere where I think there might be a little too much of the page showing through. my yellow so I'm not going to cover it 100% completely but I do want it to be a little darker see how that's coming together it really does look like a nest some yellow. I'm just kind of playing right now. Oh, you know what it does? The, the parts where I add yellow seem to make some of the brown a little brighter. So now we've got lots of different shades in here. That's really kind of nice. I'm just not going to put any yellow into this. Remember the inside part? I'm not going to put any yellow in there. There we go. Now let me see. You know what I'm going to do, my friends? I am going to make this a solid brown in here. I want it to stand out. So that it's obvious that it's the inside of the nest. I think that looks a little better. Same thing over here. I'm going to make it solid. That looks great. Maybe a little solid line here. All right. That's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of detail. Now these eggs, they're little baby robins ready to be born. So they're probably sleeping. So let's give them some sleepy faces. Like this. That's how you draw closed eyes. Little semicircles like that. And they're happy. So we'll give them cheeks too. Little semicircles at the end of the line. And that looks like they've got some cheeks. <laughs> and I'll give them some eyebrows. So that little boy or girl is sleeping. And we're gonna do the same thing. This one's sleeping on his side, like that, and a little smile here, and some eyebrows. There we go. And this one's really sleeping on her side. Let's call her a her. So we're gonna do her eyes on the side like that. And her smile is here with some cheeks 
and some eyebrows. <laughs> and that's our robin's egg nest. What do you think, my friends? Wasn't that fun? Now, don't forget to sign your work. I want you to be extremely proud of the beautiful work of art that you just created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends, and we'll see you next time on Nature and the Universe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.